perfect. <laughs> Hey everyone, Sean Clement here with Chantal Imon, and we are in our seventh session. And uh, today you've got an amazing pregame workout for us, or a pregame warm up. Correct. Right. Correct. And she's got the microphone. We had a, a, a little, one of, one of my lavalier microphones just got chopped off, so she'll have the mic. Of course, it's a yoga session, so she needs to have it. And uh, that way, you know, you won't hear me breathe like Darth Vader or anything like that. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and then over the course of the holidays, we're going to piece together from, from our previous sessions. We're going to piece together. She's going to help me out. She's going to tell me which ones to edit in. And so that we have a nice uh, few sessions over the holidays. And we're going to be broadcasting these on Fridays from now on. Okay. And then when we get back... Chantal says, I, I better get myself a pedicure. <laughs> so uh, if in the event that uh, you want to share that with me, get yourself a little gift certificate from, uh, from your wife and uh, have her send you to her, uh, her pedicure shop. That's where I'm going to be headed. So, uh, so my feet don't look too bad for you in the new year. It looks like we're going to have some posture. Correct. Uh, Standing postures. And uh, it's just that we're going to go barefoot, which is why the, the reason why oh, I'm boy. suggesting a pedicure. <laughs> Okay, yes. well, I was really going to enjoy that one. Okay, yes. cool. Well, I'm all your shot, out. Perfect. So today, um, yes, it's a focus on warming up the body okay. before we hit the golf course. Okay, do you um, need a golf club for this? We will. Okay. So if we want, we Close can grab right a club there, right now. Let's take it now. Perfect. Um, and really, the thing to remember when we think of warming up our body yep. is to warm up from the feet to the head. So, because a lot of us, we focus on the shoulders, on the hips, and then we forget about important... Ground up. Exactly. Awesome. All right. Um, it takes about 15 to 20 minutes. There's different variation of warming up the body, but yep. I'm going to suggest one that's pretty basic today. Okay. And we can add on to that as we uh, progress together. Awesome. All right. All right. So let's start. We'll, I'll have you face actually the camera. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then we'll start from the bottom up. Okay. Okay. Ground up, as you said. So I'd like you to lift your right foot. You're using the club for balance, really. Yes. And now we're warming up our ankles. Yeah. Ah, there we go. There we go. So maybe 10 circles one way. Yeah. And at the same time, notice as you're warming up the ankle, if you have a tendency to round the upper back, right? And looking down. So keep that nice tall posture. Gotcha. Here you go. Let's circle the other way. And in some cases, it may not be circles, right? If there's a lot of tightness yeah. in the joint. So don't worry about that. So it feels like the tibia is warming up, the calf is warming up. Exactly, right. exactly. And then from here, I want you to point the foot and then dorsiflex. Point. Try to keep your knee bent. So in other words, okay. I'm not asking to have the leg straight. Okay. We're just focusing here on the ankle. Point and dorsiflex. Point. And dorsiflex just a couple of more time here okay and notice that you're looking down so can you look up yep, yep. and just look at the you're probably doing this at the driving range yep. so look at your target <laughs> looking at all the people thinking i'm strange and, you just know what it. exactly and this then release so down <laughs> and then we'll switch other sides so lifting the other foot and then create circle maybe noticing if one side feels very different than the other so we rarely think of warming up the ankles, right? And they're, huge. they're our foundation, so. You can do this if you're alone in the driving range or if you're with your partners, you can have a chit chat. That's point and dorsiflex, point and dorsiflex. And at the same time, if you wanna test your balance, you could remove the club off the floor. Okay. And now showing off, right? <laughs> Here you go. <laughs> and notice all the work that now the yeah. supporting foot is doing. Exactly. And if you feel a little bit uh, on balance, well, not on balance, but a lot of work happening, that's excellent because that's exactly what happens when we balance on one foot. Right. And then release down. Shake it out a little bit. Now from here, I'd like you to just have a little bit of a wider stance in your feet. Yeah, yep. club at the top of your knees. And I'm sure you've seen this performed by a famous uh, golfer. Is it uh, Miguel de oh, yeah. with the, the cigar man? The most interesting man in golf. <laughs> That's right. That's so I want you to create nice circles with the knees. All right. 
About well, 10. thanks to him, this doesn't look as weird anymore. <laughs> That's right. About 10 of them. And you'll notice, yes, we're circling the knees, but the quads and the thighs are also yeah. warming up, right? And then rotate the other way. See if you can lengthen your cervical spine a little bit. So lift your head up here. You go. There you go. Always think posture, right? Gotcha. So that actually engaged my glutes more. Yes, correct. And slowly releasing and shaking the legs a little bit. Oh, yeah, I'm already warm just by doing this, yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. So from here, so we've done ankles, knees, we're going to yeah. do hips. Okay. So holding your club in your right hand, I want you to keep your left leg straight and I'm simply swinging from the hip, my okay. leg. So it's a kind of a pendulum movement that yeah. we're looking for. I call this flossing the hips. <laughs> flossing the hips. <laughs> yes, because okay. I find that we're, you know, the image is lubricating the hip joint, right. right? So notice if the hips are a little bit tight, what may happen is the knee's going to want to bend in the back. I want that leg to stay yeah. straight. My upper body is staying nice and neutral as well. Okay. And it may mean that the movement is small. That doesn't matter, right? What we want to avoid is this happening, right? right? Gotcha. Okay, so just get into that pendulum movement where there's almost no effort. It's just a little bit of a back and forth. You can put your other hand on your hip if you want, if that helps stabilize. Not really. <laughs> no. <laughs> If you really want to show off, you could take your club off the floor. That's a lot of stabilization happening for yeah. the supporting leg. Good. Now, let's do the other side. Shake the supporting leg a little bit. Yeah. And then pendulum going back and forth. And remember, here what we're doing, simply... It feels like the, the glute is really active going back. Yes. Yeah, so try not to go back so much, because our, our, our point here is really loosening up okay. the hip joint and the muscles around the hip. So I don't want tension in the lumbar region. I don't okay. want tension in the glute. So we don't want the lower back to work. No, okay. not really. Okay. It's a very small movement back and forth. Cool. Yeah, we're not at the point yet where we're asking our muscle to really activate. Okay. okay. So from so it looks here, like the, like the stabilizing leg is, is getting the most warm up in there. That's right. Exactly. Gosh. And at the same time, lubricating the hip yeah, that is I'm, moving. I'm feeling that stabilizing leg. The front and the back of that is, is getting a heck of a workout Correct. while I'm letting the other one swing. Right. Okay. Yep. So multitasking. Yeah, there's, there's, mad, there's method to the madness. There is. Okay. So now we're going to go back to the left leg, club Good. in the right hand, same principle, but now I'm crisscrossing. Okay. So diagonally. And try to see if you can get to a point where there's almost no effort for that leg to move. I'm really allowing gravity do the work. About lift, 10 reps? Yep, lift your head up a little bit. Yeah, Sorry. always think of posture. <laughs> Good. Uh, it's going to be ingrained in you after all these sessions together. Good, release, and then we'll switch leg. So see if you can maybe focus on the point about 10 feet away from you on the floor. Okay. Here you go. This way you're helping, keeping a nice... Uh, this one feels more strange. Yeah. So do we, do we allow the hips to turn a little bit as the, as the foot passes? You can. You okay. can, absolutely. The point here is really to loosen up a little bit, not gotcha. to... Uh... Yes, we de definitely want the hips to be ready to turn. Right? Yes, absolutely. All right. Good workout, eh? Yeah. Okay, good. So now we've done our ankles, knees, and hips. Yep. We're going to move to our shoulders, okay? Gotcha. So what I'd like you to do is just lean your club on your on yourself for a moment. Bend yep. your knees a little bit. Let's do shoulder rolls. So uh -huh. inhaling the shoulders up and exhaling back, squeezing the shoulder blades together. Inhaling up. Exhale back. And just continue like that at your own rhythm. I knew this one was a, an important exercise. Yes. Try to match the breath to the movement because it's an opportunity to start quieting the mind, preparing it for the round of golf. And then do the same thing but reverse. So simply reversing the direction.
Beautiful, and one more. Good, Ooh, beautiful. Good. It feels good, eh? From here, I'd like you to grab your club in your right hand, yep. okay? I'm going to turn around, and I want you to place it behind you. Okay. okay? Then our right arm, our right elbow is somewhat pointing up towards yep. the ceiling. You've done this before, I see. You grab the club with yep. the other left hand, yep. palm out, yep. and then try to walk your hands towards each other. Yeah, and notice if your head is jotting your forward. Your hands actually got together almost. Uh, almost, but <laughs> there was a time uh, that was not possible for me. So, <laughs> okay. So remember, no pain, no pain in the joints, right? Thank We're you. stretching muscles. My scale one to ten. You're about at two, or three. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah, here you go. Now, don't forget about your foundation, your posture, lifting the chin up just a little bit. And if you want, you can close the eyes if you're comfortable with that. Just take a few breaths here. Beautiful, and one more breath here. And simply release, take your time, shake it out a little bit, yeah. and then we'll do the other side. other side. It's probably gonna feel very different. For most people, it does. So the left hand is holding high, elbow up, yep. palm out of the right hand, grab the club, and now try to walk the hands towards each other. So look at the difference between both hands in my case, right? Yeah, oh, I've, yeah. look at mine as well. There oh, you go, man. yeah. So rotator cuff issues, right, which I've had and I know you've had, which is important not to go to a point of discomfort, right? We're just trying to determine There's how... There's a huge separation yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So... Wow, you guys, that's... Yeah, that one's eye-opening. Yeah, and even, even me, the yogi, right? There's a big difference. Yeah. So we all have past injuries or present, so just respect that. Dominant side. Yeah, and don't push through the pain. There's no wow. point. And a few deep breaths here, maybe closing your eyes if you wish. Yeah, I kind of forgot that one. And if at the range you, you don't feel comfortable closing your eyes, you can have a soft gaze on the floor in front of you. The point is really to Allow the body to relax within the stretch. Allow yourself to reconnect with the breath, just so you can be ready for a nice round of golf. Leave the office behind. Yes, absolutely. Good, and one more nice breath here. And exhale, gently release. And shake it out, yeah. All right, so let's not forget about our wrists. Yep. So we're gonna grab a club, yes. about shoulder width or a little wider. Yep. And I know that sometimes people hold their club high like this when they do movement, like we're about to do. I find that when we do this, we tend to tense right, up, right. right? So let's lower down a little bit. Okay. And all I want us to do is do wrist roll. So I'm flexing, yeah. yeah, and bringing up, beautiful. And I would say about 10 of them. Um, you may feel this stretch all the way up to the forearm. Yeah, yep. all the way to the elbow. Yeah, me too. Again, the hands play an important role, right? In the control of our golf club. This is good for the golfer's elbow prevention. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because yeah, the, the... Like this, this is always a good stretch, isn't it? Yes, yeah. Because the point of warming up the body before you even think of swinging your golf club for me, the first thing is injury prevention, yeah. right? And as well, playing well, because if you're tight yeah. and you're not warmed up, then we, we wonder why we're not playing well, right? Exactly. All right, so leaning the club against yourself for a moment, yeah. still focusing on hands and arms. Yes. We're going to stretch your arms out. So what we're going to do is we're going to make fists, 
and then expand the hands, and then do this really quickly. And what I prefer seeing is that the movement is nice and wide and quick, as opposed to when it gets hard that you, min you dimin diminish the movement. Right. So keep moving nice and wide with the pumping of fist and opening. Wow. And slow, yes, and slow down if it gets more challenging. Well, yeah, it's kind of getting there. Yeah. So you may feel this all the way up to the neck, to the trapezius. It was getting there. Yep. Wow, that's yeah. a... Mm -hmm. Yeah, so imagine if I was to ask you to do this for a minute. You may not like me. No. <laughs> no. Are we warmed up? <laughs> shake it out. Shake, 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 shake. Beautiful. Good. Our neck. Surprising. Yeah. Yes. Our neck. Again, an area that we tend to forget. So what I want you to visualize, so I'm not going to lean in my head, so I'm going to keep it nice and high, yeah. and I'm going to bring my left ear towards my left shoulder. So now we're stretching the right side of our neck, yeah. okay? Option to use your right hand to press the imaginary floor or wall. So I'm extending that arm, yes. Okay. So that may uh, make the stretch a little bit more um, increased. Mm -hmm. And then where, once you're there, take a moment to maybe do micro movement with the head to tap into a stretch that feels right in your neck. Okay. So micro, micro movement really slowly. Right? Neck do a lot of work for us, and sometimes they work when they don't really have to. Gotcha. Yeah. Good. Now from here... So we could actually you know, do two or three different stretches. Yes, that's right, gotcha. by doing the micro-movement. Okay. Now staying where you are right now, I want you to just relax your right arm. Tuck your chin under, and as slow as you can, roll your head forward. Your chin is still tucked under, and now we're going towards the other side. Gotcha. Now the right ear is somewhat on top of the right shoulder. Then... Whoa. Nice crack. Yeah, good. <laughs> and then with the left hand, left arm, extend a little bit more and start doing micro-movement. And of course, one side is going to feel probably very different. This one feels really rickety. Really rickety, right? Okay. So from here, center your head. I want you to look towards the right. So now we're turning the head towards the right. Yeah. Then come on back to your center and go towards the left. Turning the head. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> It's a humbling uh, experience, eh? I know. Let's do that one more time. Turning to the right. And then turning to the left. So what's a good reset? Is that, that the reset right there? Yes, right. that's right. And then come back to your center. And from here, what I like to do is tuck my chin under. So now I'm lengthening a little bit the back of my neck. Yeah. And then really slowly come back, lift the head back up. Good. I want to do that stretch on the other side. I mean, once, because I found that um, I had this stretch, and yep. then you wanted me to come down this way. Mm -hmm. right? And then come back up the other side. Yes. Oh, and, and you wanted to roll it back again. And it, and it felt. Is that the way, was that the proper way of doing it? Yeah, so from, from here, we tucked under, we rolled all the way towards the other side. Yeah. And I think what you're saying is that you feel that you would like to tuck your chin under and roll back towards well, it's the when I, It's when I went from this side and went down and across, that's when I started to feel the cracking. Ah, okay. And it was popping pretty okay, good. Okay, so. yeah. I, it, you've done it properly. If yep. you have a lot of tension, I, I hear a lot of cracks in my neck too. Okay, you know, yeah, yeah. Sure yes, okay. <laughs> it is. As long as there's no shooting it's pain. Scary. All right, good. And you'll see as you do it more often. Yeah, it'll those, be smoother. It'll be smoother. Right. Okay, this one I can, I can feel I need. Okay. Absolutely. All right. So from here, we're going to revisit our um, active lunge that we did the last session. Yes. So if you remember, we did a little dancing kick together. Oh, yeah. So we kicked and then we went to our lunge. So first, okay. let's set ourselves into our lunge, stepping back with your left foot. Yep. Yeah. And I'm actually balancing on my toes. So my Heel is off the floor. Awesome. Good. So feel your foundation, shoulders on top of your hips. Yeah. yeah. And then when you're ready, you can put your left hand on your hip if you want. We're simply going to kick 
and then go to where you were originally. Yeah, and we'll do this repetitively. I would say maybe 10 times. So now we're warming up the right leg, right? The quad, the glute. We're also still warming up um, yes. the, the top of the that's right. Of the hip. Yeah. Hip flexor is also getting a little bit of a stretch here. And we're also uh, working on where we are in space, right? Yeah. The proprioception, I believe it's called, that we lose as we age. So by just kicking and trying to find that spot in the back, it helps us um, improve our stability. So if you want to show off, you can remove your club off the floor if you want. <laughs> Just work on balance a little bit more. Try to keep your jaw, your shoulders, <laughs> and neck I relaxed. Have to, I have to back just to get my balance. <laughs> Good. And stay here. Beautiful. Okay. So stay in your lunge just for a moment. From here, your club is in your left hand. Yeah. I want you to inhale your right arm up. And as you exhale, side stretch a little bit. So just tapping into our lats, those long muscles alongside the body here, on the right side specifically. And then inhale back to your center. Two more times. Exhale, side stretch. Oh, you need a break. I need to shake this one off. All right. <laughs> All right. I'm going. I was getting ready to switch sides already. <laughs> Two more times. Things comes in trees. <laughs> in threes, I should say. Exhale, side stretch. Beautiful. And release down. Step forward. Shake it out. Warming up. Oh yeah! Oh that yeah! Was, that was <laughs> Good. Lots of warmth in that right, uh, that <laughs> I right know. leg on that one. So let's step back with the opposite foot. We'll do the other side now. Okay. Take a moment to find your stability, your foundation, and when you're ready, yeah. slowly transfer the weight to the front foot. Kick and step back. Nice exercise. Yes, and I like it because there's a lot of things happening at the same time, right? Like you say, you're feeling a lot of warmth now in your yeah. legs. We got the glutes going. Yes. The quads, the hips. Right. But I also feel that we're working on our focus, right? Just a couple more. Yeah. You're really involved. Yes. So there's no way you can think of shopping lists when you do that, right? No. Uh, so at the same time, we're allowing our, our mind to, to exactly. relax a little bit. So now we do our side stretch, right? Yes. So take a moment. Switch. Yep. Take a nice breath in. Inhale, lift the left arm up. And exhale, side stretch. Beautiful. Inhale, come on back, and exhale. Good. For the next one, I want you to stay open to the front, so instead of turning in, stay open. Here you go, yeah. Over the top. That's right. <laughs> and step forward. Oh, the fourth one, here you go. I just wanted to reconfirm that one. Yeah. So the tendency when we do side stretch, no matter which position we're in, when there's a lot of tightness, we will see this happening, right? So I'd rather see this, you're yeah. here, than here. Right. And eventually there will be yeah, more. Stay, stay stacked in the exercise. Correct. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. All right. Good. So from here, I'd like you to put your club down. All right, take your active stance, so as if you were about to address the ball, and then cross your arms over your chest, okay? And with your arms crossed over your chest, 
I want you to try to see if you can isolate the movement of your hips from your shoulders. And I know that everything moves together during our golf swing, but we're just trying to see how everything's feeling. So keeping my shoulders square to the front, yeah. I'm going to start swinging my hips from side to side. Oh, okay. A little bit of a dancing here. Here you go. Just starting to connect to the sensation of the hips turning from side to side. And at the same time, notice if there's... I bet you that's opening up the facet joints in your spine. That's right. But it's also making you um, developing the awareness of how everything is connected, right? So your shoulders are staying square, but there's movement in the shoulders, right? Yeah. There's movement in the spine, yes. which is okay. It's all really out. Look, Mom, I'm belly dancing. That's right. <laughs> And notice at home if, you know, if the hips are turning, you know, from left side to yeah. side, or if there's a little bit of a, yeah. of a, a hip lift, right? Yeah. Depending on how tight the hips are. Yeah, it feels like a, a little swivel. Right, exactly. Yeah, you could feel that the, the lower back muscles are, are working out. Right, yeah, okay, yeah they good. know, okay, something's about to happen, right? Yeah. So same principle here, so arms crossed over your chest, mm -hmm. nice active stance, and now we're gonna do the reverse. Shoulder turn only, hips stay nice and stable. Just investigating how everything is working in the shoulders and upper back. That's it, and you can really see how very limited the motion is mm -hmm. with the shoulders, if you do shoulders only. Right. You know? Exactly. And exactly. you realize how bad some of the golf instruction is out there. Mm-hmm. Beautiful. So you could really see there's that 20 degrees of range that I have in my shoulders, and that's about it. Mm -hmm. Yep. So 90 degree shoulder turn does not exist. If it does, there's... Not in this body. Yeah, no. And if it does, in many cases, there's a lot of compensation happening in the rest of the body, and there's, you know, in many cases, unfortunately, um, injuries happening. All right, so now one of my favorite. I want you to uncross your arms, shake it out a little bit, and we're gonna swing side to side, but I want you to stay nice and loose, okay? So don't try to make uh, the movement look like something. Okay. All I'm going to do is swing side to side like this. Okay. I'm keeping my knees bent, because if my kn knees are not bent, then I have less room for my hips, right. right? So just swing side to side. Your arms are nice and heavy. Beautiful. And if your arms are long enough, you can let them actually whip yourself a little bit. <laughs> yeah, actually, this, this feels better, where the, the arm cross uh, folds behind yes. you. Yes. Yeah. Here you go. That's it. This is like in the Karate Kid 3 movie. That's right. <laughs> it's actually really good to stimulate the kidneys. Oh, yeah. Yep. We, we do this in uh, Qigong, actually. So, and I like this because the entire body is moving. You're I not. Tell you like this one. Yeah, out. and you're not resisting anything, right? A little spot in your eye. That's right. It reminds me of my childhood. I used to do that all the time. But again, you know, they were just yeah, warming up. Kind of like yeah. And I usually do this at the end of the warm up. Yeah. Because it really encompasses all of the body, and it puts you in a. a very, uh, how can I say? Trance. Trance, here you go. Ready for a great round yeah, of golf. You're now tapping into gravity. That's right. Feeling how the arms are getting taken by the G-forces. Yeah, and then you can play around with, you know, transferring a little bit the weight from one foot to the next, and just feel that connection to the ground. All right. <laughs> and, Let's do a few deep breaths, just okay. because it's important. So I want you to stand nice and tall. Okay, okay you can face your, 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 your people. <laughs> and then all we're gonna do is lift the arms up, inhaling palms up towards the ceiling, interlace the hands, and press down as you exhale. Inhaling up. And exhaling down. One last time. 
and exhale down good this time bring your arms at shoulder height bring your arms forward interlace press the palms out round your spine bring your tailbone under head between your arms and we're just stretching the space between the shoulder blades here another nice deep breath here and exhale release bring your hands behind oh, <laughs> yes interlace your fingers if you can squeeze a little bit the shoulders together open the heart and chest good one more nice breath here and exhale and release voila that's it that's it ready now when you start swinging the club yes if i may interject yes please so find yourself an immediate target mm -hmm. and now that your limbs and everything is nicely warmed up you want to do full range of motion swings but gently so like if you take a pitching wedge out and your normal pitching wedge distance is 125 yards full range of motion 80 yards you know knock off and then as long as you have a target and you're swinging full range of motion to the target and then bring it up from there. Nice. Make sense? Makes sense. Is that yoga approved? It's yoga approved. <laughs> awesome, Chantal. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank Enjoy you. everybody. Enjoy. And uh, we'll see you. Well, the next couple of sessions we're going to be putting together. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. Merry Christmas to everyone. All the best to Happy you. Happy New Year. Yes. And uh, we'll see you in the new year. <laughs> Little Christmas bonus before we go. <laughs> Uh, Chantal was just letting me know that, uh, you know, we're, we're doing the standing exercises when we get to the golf course. Mm -hmm, correct. Prior to getting to the golf course, it would be a good idea to do the four, four main floor exercises that will, will get you loosened up. That's right. And that's where I'm getting, where, where we're all getting because we're doing it with me, right? We're all getting comfortable with these four exercises. That's right. And the first one is? The first one is, would be to lie on your back, the window washers. The window washers. Yes. Okay. So, so make sure that your head is supported at home if ever you have a little bit of uh, tension in your cervical spine. So I would spine. say after the shower, put on uh, whatever. That's right. You know, put on your yoga clothes real quick. That's right. And you could actually probably do that in your golf clothes as well because okay. there's not no sweating involved and no major, major okay. uh, stretching. Okay. So the first thing, window washers, we're going to take a nice breath in. Remember, connect to the breath. Exhale the knees to the left. Yep. Inhaling back to center and exhale the knees towards the other side. Continue like that at your own rhythm just for a couple of breaths. Arms away from the body a little bit more, Sean, if you can. Yeah. Good. And remember here we're loosening up the hips, loosening up the lower back, working on your internal external rotation of the hips. Try to get into a nice rhythm. Ten. Yeah. 10 would be good. So that's usually what I recommend to do um, a short warm up at home before yeah. leaving. Then you get in the car. Hopefully you don't have, you know, two hours to drive. Yes. <laughs> All right. From here next, we're going to move to our bridge. So arms uh, by the side of your body. Yes. Remember bridge is to start to connect with our glutes yes. and warm them up a little bit. So using your feet, Press the floor away, inhaling the hips up towards the ceiling. And exhaling, release your hips down. Lift your head up. I'm going to remove the support. Oh. One more time. Inhale. And exhale. Tuck your chin under a little bit, Sean. Yeah, good. Two more. Inhaling. Exhaling. And notice if the hamstrings are working hard, I'd rather the glutes work here. And release down. Beautiful. Good. Okay. Next, alligator twist. Yes. So rolling onto your left side. I'm going to support your head with a pillow. We're stacking our joints, knees, hips, and shoulders. And when you're ready, inhale and open your right arm. Shoulder turn. And exhale. Very nice. Inhaling. 
And exhaling. Remember, it's not how far you go, but how you move with integrity. Very good. And one last one. So we're moving quickly. We are moving quickly now through the postures just because we want to give us samples to uh, our viewers. But I would recommend maybe then 10. Flip the, other side. flip the other side and then do 10 on each. And the last one? Last one, hands and knees, table position. We're doing cat cow. All right. So nice foundation. And when you're ready, inhale the tailbone up and the head up. So we're creating a curve in the lower back, yeah? And exhale, reverse that. Start with your tailbone. Really press the floor away with your hands, creating space between the shoulder blades. And three more. So now we're just working on the mobility of the spine. And as you inhale, the shoulders travel back a little bit. And as you exhale, activate your glutes here. Beautiful, one last one. Yeah, my abs activating a lot more for this one. That's right. Yeah, beautiful. Then back to your neutral table. Then you get up slowly, yes. <laughs> right? I remember now. Yeah. And now we would be ready to head for the course and do the pregame body warm up that we did okay. originally. Awesome. Good. Now we're good to go. <laughs> Thank Enjoy. you. Enjoy.